Yate Shilchene, She Michelle Reyes Yenche, Kia Ani Inchle, Event Bashes Chain, Nanist Ejit Hachini, Edition Che, Bilagana Edishinelle, Quidag O Essa Inchle. Hello, my young friends, my name is Michelle Reyes, and I was introducing myself in the traditional Navajo way because that's how we express and share who we are and where we come from and our family connections and the ways in which we um, are essentially are who we are. And so that's a really important part of um, our culture. Um, so I'm Navajo, which is one of the tribes um, that is located in the United States, um, and they're also known as the Diné people. And I am a Navajo weaver. Uh, when I was 17 years old, um, my grandmother was the one who first taught me how to weave. I started working on it like all my spare time, like I definitely found a great love for it. Um, but only a few short months later, um, I got into a car accident and lost my left arm in the car accident. And so my weaving days just completely halted. Um, and then fast forward, um, probably about 10 years or so, I was a young mother and I was learning new things. I was realizing that I could still do things that I loved. And one day I was looking at um, a rug that I was given um, right after my car accident and I was admiring the beautiful delicacies, the like intricate work, like just the artistry of it. And I just had this really um, powerful moment where I just realized that anything um, beautiful and worthwhile just takes time, it takes patience, it takes um, diligence, it takes persistence. And at that moment I decided I was gonna try it again. And I had learned how to weave before my car accident and then had to figure out how to do it again because I, can't, I cannot weave like a traditional weaver. It takes the use of both hands in order to pull a portion. It's called a heddle. You pull back the back warp string so that you can put um, the bat in through to open up the, um, the way to put, put the wool. And so I had to learn to adjust and figure it out. I have to weave on the floor just like a traditional weaver. And it's because the way in which I pull back the heddle, which is the stick that holds the back warps, is I have to use my feet. It's a very intricate process. It's a very time-consuming process. Everything from raising the sheep to shearing the wool and then taking that wool and cleaning it and carding it and getting out all the, the debris or you know dirt and you know just getting it all laid straight so that they can go then and spin it into the strands that are that is the wool that you weave with and then even beyond that the the process of setting up the loom is just it's um, it's a process that you need to sit down and you need to commit to and um, not have interruptions because um, again this is another like little life lesson that I've learned from it like if you set it up correctly if you put in the time and effort to like lay that foundation so to speak of having a very solid um, warping a very solid um, base to your weaving you're not going to have as many problems in the future as if you just like did it haphazardly. I truly believe that Navajo weavers were mathematical geniuses. Like to be able to think about those shapes and to, to see the vision of what, you know, it would be. And, and I know that it's, it's using numbers and working with numbers in order to balance it and create that perfectly symmetrical weaving vertically and horizontally. It's, it's just such an amazing, simple, yet completely sophisticated um, way of creating this form of art. I mean, I still very much consider myself um, a new weaver, like a, a weaver who's still learning and growing. I don't um, ever try to assume that I'm like an expert or a master weaver, but um, it definitely has a really deep place in my heart. and. Um, part of the reason why it is so is because I come from a line of weavers. My grandmother was a weaver, my um, paternal grandmother was a weaver, and it connects me to them. And 
it connects me to my culture. And I know I'm that link between um, those who have come before me and my children. Like I need to be that link to connect them, to help them appreciate their culture and, and remember who they are. Um, there's a lot of symbolism that goes into the weaving of the rug. It's, it's, um, it's a very personal um, process because you're putting yourself into that rug and at, because you're doing so, what I've been taught is you really need to make sure that you are in the right frame of mind. Whatever feelings or thoughts that you're having as you weave, it's going to be manifested in the rug. So you shouldn't weave when you're upset or you're angry or um, just have negative feelings. Um, the, the one negative feeling you can weave with is sadness because it's a healing process. Like you can go there and you can find peace, um, uh, you know, healing as you're weaving. Going along with just kind of some of the teachings that I've learned over time is, um, you know, Navajo weavers should always have their hair pulled back when they're weaving. Um, and the, the explanation is that you need your, your hair is an extension of your thoughts. And if it's wild and all over the place, then your thoughts are gonna be wild and all over the place. But if it's put back and it's taken care of, then you're gonna be nice and focused and, and your thoughts are gonna be clear. The, the funny thing is that one time I was um, helping my mother do a, a warping that's setting up the loom and I had forgotten to put my hair back and my hair got caught in the weaving and I was like, well, maybe it's also very practical <laughs> and not just, <laughs> you know, not just the, the meaning behind it. It's very practical um, advice as well. But um, among uh, weavers, there are, there are certain designs that are, you know, kind of universal as far as their meaning, um, um, nature elements or connections, to um, teachings of you know the four sacred mountains and things like that, but also each weaver can develop their own style and put in their own meaning of it. Designs aren't I, I don't believe they're just necessarily just thrown in just for fun or to make them look um, a little more cool or anything. Like they have meaning and purpose behind it all um, because it very much is a a connection between between you and, and who you are and what you believe and what you stand for, you put that into your rug. Uh, Navajo weavers will often um, use their Navajo rugs as a form of livelihood, taking care of their families. So they'll, they'll weave and then they'll sell the rug so that they can you know, provide food and shelter and you know, all the things of life. Um, for me personally, I don't um, sell my rugs. For me, it's not a, a matter of providing for my family. It's a matter of connecting with my culture. Be knowledgeable enough about it that I can pass that on to my children. But I think I was asked to share my story because um, I was known to, to recognize its value and that it had a certain place in my heart and in my life and even even if it's not something that I do on the daily or the weekly even, um, I always come back around to it because it truly is a part of who I am.